Hi, my name's Andy, and on today's video, we're gonna replace the ignition switch on my 1966 Mustang. So the problem I'm having right now, I have a couple problems. One, uh, this the bezel of this system is sticking out, and so it looks like it's been replaced at one time. Uh, the key, I'm having a problem with the key doesn't fit very well, and also, when the key's in there, I just have to tweak the, the key just a little bit, because none of the dash gauges work, or the lights work unless I just kind of wiggle the key a little bit once the car is running. And so a combination of all that stuff, I think it's time to replace the switch. All right, the parts we're going to have to work with today are these four parts here. Uh, and what this is, consists of is this is the, the mounting bezel that goes in the back of the dash. I have one of these on my car, but I don't know if it's the correct one because it looks like either they replaced my system at one point or put a different one in. So I, these are only a couple bucks. You just get another one of those. I don't have one of these on the car, and this is, you know, where it's got the, the accessories off, you know, that, that whole part. I don't have that on the car, so I'll get one of those, and that actually, this goes behind the dash, and this will sit in front of the dash, and it'll sit in there like so. Uh, we also need the, a new key cylinder, because part of the problem we have in is the key's not working right inside there, so you need one of those guys, and it comes with two keys, which is great. And then the last piece is the actual ignition switch. And um, again, I don't know if the problem I'm having is inside here or if it's in the key cylinder, but again, there, this, is whole, this whole kit is not expensive. So we'll get this put on there and, uh, and go from there. The first step is put the key in the ignition and turn it to accessory mode. And then below the key, there's a little tiny hole there. And you just need to push in with that hole and then you can twist the key back all right now that that's pull that straight out and looks like somebody had <laughs> this looks like cardboard okay well that might have been a problem anyways so now that this is out we're not going to need this cylinder and this key anymore because we got a new one um, but we will Take the rest of this apart so the next step after this is you need to reach under the dash and twist the ignition system counterclockwise from the back which would be if you're looking at it it'd be clockwise but you need to twist it and this will come off this bezel will come off of the ignition system so let's do that because i'm having difficulty reaching the ignition back here i think partly because the way this is set up it's so far forward i can't reach it we're going to try taking the uh, dash off and see if I can get to it back that way. Okay, now this out of the way, I think we can reach in here and twist this bezel. All right, plot thickens. Uh, this just screws on here. Um, unlike the style I was expecting where it clips in, that was part of the problem why I couldn't get that off of there. And uh, so then this uh, um, I did unplug the the ignition the battery cable, which you probably should have done to begin with anyways, just in case there's any shorts or any problems there. Okay, cool. So that comes out, and there is our ignition switch. But let's get this nut off of here, and then this plug will come off, and then we can put the new one on. Wrong oh, size. <laughs> All right, and that's the old ignition. And I'm glad I, I got that other bezel because the way this one this one threads on here, that's not gonna work for, for the new one. So I'm glad I got all those new parts. All right, let's put the new parts in. So the first step is to go ahead and plug in the old harness in with the new ignition switch. And that goes in there. But we wanna put everything back where it was so that we know that uh, everything will work at least work, you know, like I did before. So the next step, this piece goes behind the dash and these two little nubs on here are going to be where we're gonna, we're gonna push this up against the dash and we're going to put the ignition through these little tabs here. We're gonna push and turn. When this piece goes on, this will help 
because these also, these little tracks in here also work with this system and again, push and turn like so, but it'll all be in the dash. And so there's gonna be, it takes a little bit of patience to get this lined up. There are two little cutouts here on the dash to help you align where this is gonna go to give you, you know, help give you an idea. So it just takes a little bit of patience in getting all this put together. locked in. I had to use these channel locks just to kind of help twist this this front cap but uh, everything's installed and ready to go. Now we can put the cylinder in. All right my key you have to do the same thing where you push the little pin push the little hole uh, in there to, to, and twist it back to get this thing set up. It doesn't come that way. And what you're looking for is for on this top part of the, the cylinder here this has to be in line with this piece so this needs to be twisted that way to get to a line up with that. That's why you gotta put the little, put this in there and, and twist this just a little bit. There we go. And then once you get, now that this, this is in line with that, we can put that in the cylinder or in the ignition. There we go. So that's off. And then on, and we gotta hook the battery back up before we can start it. But, well that's a much stiffer setup. All right, now we need to put the dash back, but before we do that, uh, I got a little surprise. I uh, I think I'm a glutton, a glutton for punishment because I got some more LED bulbs um, for the dash. Um, in a previous video, I struggled with uh, some bulbs, some cheap ones that I bought. I uh, got a lot of great feedback from you guys and told me which ones to buy. And so I bought some super bright LED um, dot com bulbs so we're gonna take these out and put these new ones in and see if I can do that before we put the dash back in. So here is the the bulb for the this will be the blinker um, there's the part number for that and uh, just by looking at the way these things are built and I had the problem I was having is these little these little nubs here on the side were not long enough. Let's see if I can open this up. Yeah these little nubs here on the previous ones weren't long, long enough to stick inside the cup that you put in and twist. And then also the heads of these, and on the other ones I had, they were just so poorly made, they just twisted twisted right off. And these look like a lot better built. And the funny thing is they're cheaper. I bought all the bulbs for this dash and a couple extra ones in case I messed up, all of that was half the price of the set that I had previously bought. So. I'm hoping these are going to do better for us. It was, uh, I was much happier with the purchasing on these. So let's see how these go in and see if they work. All right, the first bulb we're going to do is the blinker. Pull that one out. Put the new one in, push and twist. Gosh, they already fit better. That's awesome. Okay, and then plug it back in. And let's see how Oh yeah, well, yeah, you can see it on the screen. That's much brighter, much better. Gosh, and that works on the very first try. Thank you guys for that recommendation on these bulbs. Let's do the rest of them. Okay, now that those are all in, let's, uh, we got one blinker, two blinker. Let's see our lights. Um, high beams on. All right, and, and the dash lights are on. All right. Much better. It's, you can't really see it in the in in the camera, but that's all right. This is brighter and better, so I'm happy. So let's put this back in and button it up. Okay, 
Let's start the car and see if she works. Wish me luck. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, we got the new ignition, uh, key ignition installed, and now that it's flush and looks correct, it's much better. Uh, brand new key, so it's a nice crisp fit, so that feels good. Turns right over, which is what we want, that's great. And then I was able to upgrade those LED bulbs in the dash that I was having a problem with before, and now everything works, everything fits, uh, everything's back together, and uh, now it's time to take it for a drive. So thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one.